In 2015, the BTA introduced the next incremental step in safety. Stand up for safety. Owners, contractors, brothers and sisters have shown that they believe in the program. They know why it's important to protect each other and they see the value in operating a safe site. Now is the time for us to ask for your support and help spread the word. A good friend of mine actually had a 35 pound high press fall out of the high line and hit him in the head. Very lucky to actually be with us today. The pipe rolled off the pipe stands and he tried to catch it as it was falling. The pipe hit the floor and ripped his whole hand wide open. I know what I'm seeing, but I, I haven't put it together yet. The only thing I can rationalize or think of is, he, it looks like he's covered in paint. How, how, how did he get covered in paint? So when he comes a little closer, I realize he's covered from head to toe in blood. The principles of Stand Up For Safety are simple. Be willing to approach and address fellow workers when you see something that causes you concern. And be willing to receive help when fellow workers approach and address you. Uh, with Stand Up For Safety, we, uh, we go up to others, other uh, trades, other uh, crews that are in sight. And uh, the big thing is, is looking out for each other, brother, sister, on the job. I mean, that, that is a huge issue and I'm glad you brought it up because first, it's, there's a moral, ethical responsibility. If you see somebody doing something that's going to injure someone or themselves, then as human beings, we have that responsibility to uh, at least aid them or point them in a better direction, a better resolve than, than injury. For Stand Up For Safety to work, respect has to be the basis of all communication. If respectful communication doesn't happen, Stand Up For Safety cannot take place, and you'll have to resort to the existing site safety rules, which may include escalation. So being able to walk up to somebody and, and ask them, is this the best way you could do that? That's, that's important. And, and just being uh, open to that, to that intervention as well. Oh, standing up for safety to me means like uh, you see something wrong, you're gonna stand up, you're gonna go over there, you're gonna address what's going on. You might be wrong, you might be right, but the point is, is you stood up, you went over there, you made contact with someone to figure out if there is a safer way to do it, right? Standing up for safety could save somebody's life. Um, there could be somebody who maybe isn't uh, as experienced as you are or somebody that has much more experience and uh, just not see something and you could make a, a big difference, you could save their life. Standing up for safety is very important in that uh, we're, we're, we're trying to get out of here in one piece. So the, the, where, whenever we can work with each other and help each other out uh, and, and that means going to the guy and, and standing up there and telling him uh, that this you got to change the way you're lifting this or you're going to get hurt and uh, so that's what I try and do. If they're leaning over to raise up material I'll just say you know so when you're raising or when you're leaning over the handrail to raise up material you may want to tie off because you don't know how heavy the load is that they're putting on to the other end you don't want to fall over. Um. We're all construction workers, so sometimes it may not be taken the right way. There might be a little bit of negative. Maybe that person doesn't know the task that you're working on, but you have to respect that they had the courage to stand up and say, hey, you know what, I think something might be wrong. And it, it goes for the approach and as for how you receive it. What are some of the challenges? Well, they may respond negatively, but I don't think that has that should detour us in any way. You stand up for safety to anyone. Um, it doesn't matter uh, their job, their title, their position on site. You know, everyone is not beyond making either a lack of judgment for a while or, uh, you know, making a bad decision. So, you know, just about going up, approaching someone, addressing them, telling them that you're just here to look out for each other. And, uh, you know, I'm sure it'll be well received. Uh, I think it's all in how you approach something. You just have to be personable and, uh, you know, you, you have to be respectful to everybody around you. It doesn't matter if they're the CEO or if they're the labor that's doing man watch. As long as you approach a situation with, you know, respect and kindness and, uh, and watch what you say, definitely. If, you, if it's done with humility, often received well, okay? And, and people can read 
intent and motive. They understand if you care or if, you're, if, if you don't. Enough said. We need to all stand up for safety. We need to look out for each other all of the time. We're in this together. As professionals and as partners in the success of the sites we are on, it's up to us to help ensure that our brothers and sisters get home safely. By treating each other with respect and standing up for the safety of everyone, we can help make that a reality. Oh, I would intervene, for sure. How do you do that? You just go up to them and you tell them what it is that they're not doing safely and in a nice way, of course. Tell them to do it the proper way, right? <laughs>